live from Hollywood, this is the KTLA Morning Show. Yes, we're live in Hollywood learning the tricks to getting ready in a pinch how to turn your daytime makeup into evening wear. Ooh, There's so Lee Parker. We're back in just a moment. Sharon, sorry we didn't let you win. It was Sam's mistake. Yeah. There are many ways to wear your hair, but not all of them work at the beach. We're taking a look at summer-friendly ways to keep your hair and makeup looking great. Lou's live in Hollywood with the scoop. We'll hear from her just a little later. You know where that makeup to the beach, Lou? No. Plus, Kurt's it's deep in the Cyber Center. Uh, very deep. It's also, we are keeping summer style simple. Miss Lou Parker live in Hollywood with makeup experts. Hi, Lou. Hi, Cher. Good morning. Hey, guys. I'm with Napoleon Purtis, and he is actually going to make me and four other models look glamorous for the summertime. He is makeup artist to the stars, and we're going to talk with him in just a few minutes. Ladies, summer is almost here. It's a tough season when it comes to makeup. Too much. It's smeared. It's just hard to enjoy the high temperatures without having to worry about your face melting off. I'm only stuck on one thing, okay? Lou Parker's going to explain women wear makeup to, to the Some. beach. A little Some I have women. no idea. Yeah. And so if you wear makeup no. to the beach, it runs and it looks kind of goofy. So It's not a good look. <laughs> not a good look. Yeah, it's not Hi, a good Lou. look. That's Hi, Carlos. Hi, Michaela. Yeah, that's one of the reasons why we're here. Speaking with the expert, his name is Napoleon Purtis. Hello. Such a sweet guy, such a good guy. Okay, we are talking about makeup just in general. They were mentioning that a lot of women wear uh, makeup to the beach. We'll talk about that in a few minutes because we have a model made up. But let's talk about makeup in the summer. What are some of the keys that we need to remember? Big thing is complexion perfection. I love using the whipped drink tan enhancer. Let me show you. Use it under your base. It just gives you like a really beautiful, you know, tan and just making sure that it gives nice luminosity to the skin then put the base over that mascara mm -hmm. is really important work the brows and make a lip statement is really nice carlos you hear that work the brows baby <laughs> all right he has this actually on his face it doesn't look that tan on my hand but it's great the glistening on your face it looks good okay let's look at some of the models here guys we have four models with us we've made them up all in different ways our first is the office shimmer explain that a little bit the office shimmer is basically about making sure you've got clean skin that's ready to go out after work. The eyes are just a very natural, you know, pump up with the eye with a very really small liner, not too much liner, just to give accentuation. I'm doing a lip, you know, with a moisturized feel so it's nice and hydrated for spring and summer. We want hydration, we want freshness. So it's just fresh complexion perfection. And a little bit of a bronzer is always nice. Yes, just okay. to bring in the cheek. So all the hardworking girls in the office were working, now we're going out maybe for a drink or to meet some friends. What can we do to pump it up? Well, red lipstick Aphrodite, the goddess of love, the goddess of beauty, she's <laughs> just there. Pump up with lips, pump up the eyes with a little bit more shimmer. I'm using silver. I like a metallic accent. It's really in for the season. And lashes, of course, lashes and bronzer. You can't get enough bronze, can't get enough metallic accent. Okay, perfect. Now, guys, when you uh, tossed to me earlier, you had mentioned wearing makeup to the beach. I try not to wear too much makeup to the beach. I just wear a baseball cap and a lot of sunscreen. But you can wear some makeup, but you have to be really careful about what you do, right? Yeah. Yes, and the Californian girls love to wear a bit of makeup on the beach. Um, but it's just about a little bit of a gloss and moisturization with the lip. I like to use lip service autopilot, a little bit of mascara, and then just a touch of shimmer to give you that reflection. You can bat those eyelids and everything happens. And you can go swimming and the mascara doesn't run. Exactly. Right? It just stays Madame Fantasia. No, <laughs> I like it. Now look at this look. This is going out on the town, girls. Michaela, if you're going to go disco dancing, this is the look. <laughs> <laughs> Total, I love the blue, the electric blue with the turquoise, you know, with the bronze in the eye. Bronzer just to bring up the cheekbones, just a really simple pink gloss, but then I'm just lining the eye completely with colour and add that little bit of sparkle, you know, whether you're at Malibu or whether you're in the hills or whether you're, you know, partying downtown, it all just works and it's quite amazing. But at the end of the day, it's about fun, it's about fresh, it's about not taking things seriously. Like every season, you change your wardrobe, you know, you can change what you do for the party, what you That's change your receipts. Makeup's the easiest way to change instantly and inexpensively. Adding a little bit of the shimmer, adding a little bit of the eye highlight. It's not expensive. No, it's yeah. just easy. Lou, also, I have a question. Okay. Is the general rule of thumb, if you go heavy on the lips, light on the lips? You know Wait, and so heavy funny? on the eyes, light on the lips? Yeah, no, uh, you know what? It's so funny that you asked that question because I think that's one of the most important um, aspects of this. Michaela was saying eyes and lips. A lot of times women do hard eyes and hard lips. Isn't there a combination you're supposed to do, like light? Normally when I, it's actually stronger eyes, I like a softer lip. 
but I like the lip to be nourished and moisturized for the scene. So even though it's a softer color, you can still have reflection. So it just has hydration, youth and sexy. So that way the eyes pop if you yeah. have a lighter lip. That's mm -hmm. right. And with the blue along, the, it pop, makes it pop, the lip is still lighter. Even when you're doing the office, I still like to make sure that the lip has a highlight, but it's still lighter as well. And also too, like guys, you know, I did the, the morning news early today and I had uh, TV makeup on as we call, and I came in and Napoleon basically just popped me with uh, some, well not literally popped me, but like just some, <laughs> some um, teal under my eyes and um, a couple of bronzers and, uh, and it just has a different look. So it's amazing what you can do with makeup. Napoleon, thank you Because you said you were so from much. Texas. Well, yeah, someone from Texas. Big, Texas big and South Carolina. Yeah, exactly. Okay, guys, well, if you want to find out more information about Napoleon, his store, or any of his makeup, you can go, of course, to our website, ktla.com. We'll see you in a little while, And it's guys. right there in Hollywood, an easy place to find. Well, Thanks, Lou. Thanks, Napoleon. Okay, bye. Still to come from Napoleon to Noah, we're going to take a trip on Noah's Ark.